Alright guys, part two of the video and I kinda pressed the uh, off button. So yeah, this is uh the gun when it's taken off. I got my uh, bullet. Oh crap. So you know what the bullet will be placed here, but I'm gonna put like a ring of pipe or so th this is the uh positioner ring or whatever. I'm just gonna call it a position ring because it's gonna put it in position. So here's the bullet. Here's the bullet right there. See it's uh, perfectly positioned. There's gonna be like potassium nitrate or like solid fuel or something. Any sort of explosive uh you know bullet or substance. So I'm gonna put a sort of explosive thing inside of the uh, thing there. I don't know. Anything that works really. Woo. But yeah, this is my homemade artillery cannon. I might do a video on how to make it. Uh, but yeah, you probably noticed the second hole here. I was thinking in case my dad says no to the explosives, um, I'm probably going to have to use air pressure. So I'm going to connect an air pump to a pipe. Most likely that one that's going to connect to an air pump, which is going to be right there. So it's going to like come down here, go there go there into the air pump. So it's going to be a pretty compact design in case I need to like travel with it or something. Like, what the hell am I talking about? I'm not going to travel with an artillery cannon inside of my uh, truck or inside the truck. Can't even fit. What the heck? Still. I mean, the whole thing fits inside of my garage. What up, Andy? Yes, I was just back. Can you be the uh, cameraman now? Okay. Oh. Okay, don't drop that phone, though. Oh. And yeah, I hope you like this uh, video of my homemade artillery cannon that uh, fails a lot. Wait, where, where's that other piece? Oh, and oh, yeah. say, uh, before, and say, what? And say, if you want, you, if you're not too late, you might be able to it. buy it, yeah. Yes. Well, not really, because, I don't know, I don't really plan on selling it. Although, it is a pretty nice gun there. Yeah. And it's homemade, so, of course, it's going to be cheap. I mean, it's just made out of a pipe you can find at a Home Depot or whatever. So, you know, it is, it's pretty nice and pretty cheap. Yeah. I'm gonna glue it. Yeah. Wait, the glue's in there for me. Yeah. The glue? I'm yeah. gonna probably end up gluing this together. But anyways, if no one buys it, it's still a nice thing to, like, keep around, you know? Yes. And I... It's me like and a, it's like an gonna, antique, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. And I But not, still, that's, that's about all for... Yeah, but today. I might put some of my things on set with him. Oh, yeah. Uh, my brother is also making an artillery cannon, which has not been constructed yet. Yes. Oh, he's going to need my help. So, this is kind of his uh, base right now. Oops. Hey, dude, look at mine. It's kind of like a toilet, but it needs to dry. And there's a little bit of paint. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit longer. It's going to have a bigger gun. Yeah. Uh, a really bigger gun. Yes, until I can That's find like a, a big couple uh, millimeters, I believe. Wait, like three? No, no. Dude, 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 dude. No. Dude, that's not even a sledgehammer. That's a pipe connected to a pipe connector. Anyways. You know, I don't even know what I was saying, so, you know, I'm just going to end it here. It's already four minutes, so. Yeah, I hope you like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!